Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Disc Golf Valley. And today we are going to do our three star on Grizzly Gulch. Let's give it a go. Hit play, challenge the valley, and Grizzly Gulch. I don't know if you saw the uh, video that we did as we did our walkthrough and practice shots on this one. Uh, so just in case you missed that, I'll uh, maybe comment on my disc's choice, disc choices here. This first hole, I usually use a fuse, and with a wind like this, I might even put just a little bit of an Anheuser on this fuse, and uh, usually brings it right down nice to the basket. For a toss-in. Hole number two. Nice strong wind again. Okay, it's a windy day in Grizzly Gulch. I think I'll use my PD and put just a little bit of a hyzer on that for that wind. I like the way that PD sticks the landing. It's nice to have a bouncing disc, but I get frustrated sometimes the way it bounces into the woods. All right, here's a potential eagle hole. Let's see if we can pull it off. Let's use our Zeus and bring it to a nice Anheuser. Bounce up that hill. And it's always nice to have an eagle in your back pocket at this point on a three-star run. We'll pull out our trusty PD again on this one. And toss it in for our birdie. All right, um, the game is recommending that we use this West Side 14 speed extra glide light. And the reason that it is is because it has the potential of getting up over the mound there and leave you a nice uh, approach to the basket for an eagle. And. Uh, the thing about this west side is that it does go off to the right quite a bit, so we're going to put our pointer over here and hope for the best. Oh, hit a tree. All right, this leaves us in a very nasty position. Uh, no chance, really, of getting a, an eagle on this one. But we should be able to still... Get a boo. still get a birdie, and that's all you really need. If you uh, are interested to see how you do get the eagle on this, uh, check out the uh, video we did on the practice mode for this course. One video back in this series. 2023 jump start. All right, we're going to take a little bit of a risk here and try coming in the back way for an eagle. And roll down the hill. That's what we like. There's different ways to get an eagle on this, but it's always fun to try that way. And uh, if you practice a little bit, uh, you, you become pretty consistent on, on uh, dropping it down by the basket using that approach, that line. Ten meters, we should be able to toss this, I guess. We 
we're finding the PD works pretty good here. It's always just a little bit uh, uh, a risk potential with a roller on this hole because it uh, can hit the bank and roll back down into the river. It gets in a roll mode. All right, we're quite a ways up the hill here. A little bit of a tester shot, but in it goes. And this one is. A little bit of a challenge. We've got a nice three speed wind here. Hit a tree in, in the river. Oh, we just went right over it. Let's try the seven up this hill. Oh, we've got a wind against us. I think I'm going to disc up a little bit and This is probably the most challenging hole in the game to get your birdie. Uh, we were finding in the practice mode that we don't really have the best disc for this uh, hole, but the 12 recoil seems to do not too bad. And we're going to aim right about here. And uh, in this wind, we might put just a little bit of a hyzer on this. down get down ah oh. well even though I hit the top there it seemed to somehow still come into the cave which is good you don't want it rolling down the hill on this last hole especially when you're on your three star run so we end up with 11 minus 11 and I think that's more than what we need for our three stars so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, maybe discovered a few lines that might help you in your three-star run. If you'd like to see a little bit more, uh, just check out the practice mode on this hole. All right, let's take a look at the discs we have. We've got another recoil. Well, because we purchased the starter set, I don't know that that's going to help us. We've already got uh, probably the best recoil in the game. And the Explorer, I think that's the one that we purchased in our starter set. So... As nice as it is to finally get them the natural way, we're good. It's all good because we we started out with a jump start and purchased some of these discs. Let's just confirm that in our collection, our yeah, our Explorer is an accurate extra glide. So even though we just picked one up, we don't need to pop it in, unless you like the stamp a little better. Uh, if you want to uh, swap out the Disc Golf Valley branded. Uh, disc you could swap it out and you've got the same disc in your bag with a little bit different stamp actually I still think I like the branded one better and you'll find that as you get further down the game you'll have an opportunity to get some really cool stamps and swap out uh, some of these for some nicer stamps because we made some purchases here we've already got uh, a nice a collection of beautiful stamps. I like the ba the beach ball. I like the the Grace stamp that they put on this. Playing disc golf by the ocean in the sunset. That's lovely. Tropical feel there. And the Japanese PD. Those are nice stamps. And uh, what we got here. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed. Um, I've got a different pure than what I had a game or two back. What I did to get that uh, nicer stamp on the Pure is I played multiplayer. Now there's a couple different ways you can play the multiplayer. Um, you can play it for free. Uh, don't pay a dime. And uh, it's a nice way to compete against other players and actually see the throws that they make. If you haven't seen that yet, it's check it out. It's quite cool. And... Uh, 
but the other way is to do a season pass. I didn't go for the season pass on this account because it's about to expire here in about uh, seven days, and there's no way I'd you know get through the whole. If you see how many levels that you have to go through to get all of these rewards, uh, there's no way I'd make it up to the 25 to get all those beautiful discs for this account in the seven days. Just don't have that kind of time. And so I'm waiting for season three to come up here in a couple of weeks, and I'll probably jump on with a season pass for that, because when you get the season pass, you get so many beautiful disc rewards for that. And coins, and it's, it's just a great uh, way to build up your collection. But the other night I, was, I did the free entry, and I ended up getting this pure right here, and that's why that's in my bag. So if you want to get a nice, beautiful, colored pure for your bag, go ahead and start that. You don't have to pay anything. You will have to play five games before you get that pure. But I think it's it's a, a fun way to check out the uh, season pass, and uh, you get a pure at the end. All right, well, I think that does it for today's video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, picked up a few tips there along the way. And if uh, you did, go ahead and give the video a like. That helps us out. And uh, if you haven't already done so, I invite you to subscribe. And we'll see you next time here at Disc Golf Valley Tips and Tricks. So long for today.